Hello everyone, this is Jared Harding with the Office 365 Sales Ninja team here at AT&T. Today I'm going to show you how to share files, set permissions, and create groups within SharePoint. So our first step is to log into Office 365, which I've done here, and to click on Sites. Once we're in our Sites uh, uh, portal, then we will then click the particular site that we want to share our um, files and folders with. So I'm going to go ahead and click Team Site and that's going to bring us to our AT&T team site. Once we're in our team site then we can start uh, sharing and creating permissions. Uh, so to s simply to share a file or folder we're going to go ahead and click the menu button uh, located to the right of the file or folder and click share. We can then invite people uh, by entering their names, uh, entering their email addresses or simply choosing everyone um, for a particular file or folder, you can give editing or view only capabilities and also require sign in or not. Okay, if we want to share the site as a whole, we'd simply go up here and click share. And then we would enter names, email addresses uh, as we did before and click share. If I wanted to uh, set permissions and create groups, then I would want to go um, up here into my settings click shared with and click advanced okay this is going to give us a list of all the groups that we have within SharePoint so if I wanted uh, to uh, create particular permissions for uh, for this group I would simply click on the hyperlink and then I can change the settings um, and uh, view the group permissions to see exactly what we have uh, available and I can actually add people to this group. So if I wanted to add, um, you know, someone, uh, someone else, I would simply put in their name, choose the result, and click share. Kevin Jones is now a uh, uh, an owner of uh, the SharePoint group, um, and he will have access to everything and full control over it all. Okay, um, I can do that with every single group that I've created. Now if I want to create a particular group, then I can go up here back into my permissions tab and click create group. Then here, from here I'll be able to enter in a particular name, give a group owner, add owners, and then decide which level of permission I want this group to have. Okay, so once I've created, we can see that we have uh, this user uh, in the group. We can add users, we can remove users, and we can change the settings. Okay, it's as simple as that. Once you've done it once, you can do it uh, forever. So uh, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, uh, listen to me talk about uh, sharing and uh, permissions and creating groups within SharePoint. I look forward to speaking with you next time. Have a great day.